So hi, I'm Sibs Sibanda. I'm the city director for um, Johannesburg and Pretoria um, Resource Global. I'm based in Harare in Zim, um, but prior to that lived in South Africa for 11 years. I have a wife and two kids. My daughter's uh, 17, son is 16. We started two cohorts this year in 2022 and um, so we've just got those off the ground and um, are finding our feet um, and trying to get mentors in place and all of that sort of thing. So we're getting a lot of help from uh, mentors externally which has been amazing and really trusting God for big things. Basically, the best way I think to explain faith and work integration is not to treat it as though it's some new topic or some new idea in Christian theology. Um, the first question in the Westminster Shorter Catechism is, what is, what is man's chief end? And the answer to that is, man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. Um, or you can look at the great commandment. What is the great commandment? Love the Lord your God with all your heart um, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Right. So all of these things essentially are saying we are um, created to give God glory in all of life. And so that is sometimes translated as well, we need to integrate our faith into all of life uh, but essentially the foundation is giving glory to God and we give glory to God by I suppose integrating our faith into all of life typically as the church we've been far better at integrating our faith into areas that I guess traditionally are viewed as spiritual um, like marriage parenting family and all of those sort of things not so good at integrating our faith or giving God glory in aspects of our lives that are perhaps seen as unspiritual or secular um, like work. Unfortunately, the reality though is that we don't spend most of our time with our families, we spend most of our time at work. And so there is a massive uh, glory deficit um, in terms of what God is receiving from our lives mm -hmm. and in terms of our calling as Christians to love Him, to love others, to serve our neighbor. And so the integration of faith and work is really looking at how do we give glory to God through our work work as well as every other area of our lives. I think the integration of faith and work within the context of, of South Africa and, and, and Africa more broadly um, is it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's massive. It's, it's been said that the, um, the church or the gospel in Africa is a mile wide and an, and an inch deep. And basically what that means is Africa is very Christianized. So there are many who profess the faith. Indeed, many who attend Sunday meetings and put on fancy clothes and sing songs on Sunday. But somehow that's not translating into uh, what is happening on Monday. And as a result of that, um, the Christian faith is not informing public life and so what we're seeing is as the church grows the poor are getting poorer um, society is getting more chaotic um, uh, education is going down the tubes health and so on and we're not seeing that human flourishing that God desires for us to experience which again in and of itself is something of the display of God's glory because uh, he created us to flourish for his glory. And given this is your first cohort, your first South African cohort, what do you hope that they'll get out of this? So yeah, I mean, what, what I hope they'll get out of this is, um, I think, I think two two main things. The first is um, a joining of the dots um, of on on a theological level, and by that I mean um, the 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 cohort members are faithful churchgoers, just like you and I. Mm -hmm. um, but somehow, what is being taught in in church is 
uh, not translating seamlessly and effectively into the marketplace, right? And so the discipleship that's going on on, on Sunday is somehow not crossing over into Monday. And so the first thing I hope that would happen is that they would join the dots. And 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 by that again, I mean that it's 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 not that they don't know what the great commandment is uh, or the great commission uh, or the fact that they exist to bring glory to God. It's just that often they and, and, and by they, I mean we as Christians often don't realize, don't know how to join the dots between the glory of God and our work, mm-hmm. our daily work, mm-hmm. between um, l- the great commandment uh, to love our, our neighbor as ourselves and, and our vocation, our, our jobs, and so on. And so that's the first thing, is, is to join those dots. The second thing is to... I guess appreciate the value of community in working out the nuances of how to apply it um, into their daily work. And uh, these are things that we are seeing already um, as we meet with the cohorts. We were seeing them joining the dots uh, at a theological level. We're seeing them uh, engaging with one another in terms of thinking through um, the implications um, on their day-to-day work. That's a fascinating question. Um, I've learned new words, which I promptly forgotten, but basically new categories, um, because uh, introvert and extrovert is, is, is binary. You're either one or the other, right? I found life is not that simple. Um, and, and for a while, I've kind of battled with that because I, I, I thought of it as a binary question. You can either be this or that. But the reality is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not either purely this or purely that. Um, I'm a combination and I think in in some ways a lot of us are. And so there are situations where um, I would typically think of myself as an introvert Mm -hmm. and yet I find that in social gatherings I actually do enjoy having a bit of a laugh and and even being the life of the party at some times but then afterwards I feel like oh exhausted I want to pull away and and so on. So what does that make me right? an amb- ambivert. So these are some of the new exciting words that, are, that, that people are coming up with as we explore, I guess, human psychology. So I guess I would say I'm an ambivert. A bit of this and a bit of that. Um, I, would, I would have to say uh, meat. I know that's a really broad category, but I love meat. So, um, so my heritage, so I'm, I'm Debele and Debele people, um, we just love meat, right? And so um, I, I, I love that. I'm not fussy what kind of meat it is, uh, steak, T-bone, chicken, as long as it was walking around eating grass, I will eat that.